Hey guys, it's Mr. Hines. I'm back with another cool art project for you guys. So this is going to be an abstract art piece using your name. For this project you will need paper, a black marker, or some kind of dark marker, and some coloring supplies. So for this I have myself a black marker. Like I said, if you don't have a black one, that's okay. Any sort of dark color will do. We just want to make sure we don't have any yellow or anything like that. And I've got my paper right here, and I've got myself all kinds of crayons. So, another thing that you're going to need for this project is your name and how to spell it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the letters of our name and connect them to each other. So I'm going to use Mr. Hines. Obviously, you'll use your name. So I'm going to start with an M for Mr. And if you have a marker that's on its last leg like I do, that's okay. We can still make some cool art with it. So I got an M, and I'm going to want to connect my R to my M. And then I got Hines. Hines is H-I-N-E-S. So I have five more letters that I need to connect. So I can turn my paper if I need to. And I will definitely need to right now to make a cooler looking piece of art. So let's put our H right here, making sure that it's touching. I'm going to use an I right here. Put our N, let's flip it again, let's make an E, and the last thing I need to add is an S. So let's connect all of this together with a nice big S. There we go. So are all of my letters the same size? You can probably tell they're not, and that's okay. I'm not trying to make all my letters the same size, and I don't know about you, but I find that our art is more interesting if we have something called variety, which is where we have a little bit of difference in the size or shape of things. So what I want to do now is find some colors that I like, and I'm going to color in all the spaces that my letters are blocking out. got myself a magenta right here. And I'm coloring in the space that is closed off right in here. And just to make things interesting, let's pick lots of colors. So now I'm going to go for an orange. And I'm going to fill this space in right here. It looks way better if I don't leave any white spaces. That way I'm paying more attention to the cool colors I used and not wondering why that there's some open spaces left. Do you ever wonder that if someone leaves open spaces? Sometimes I wonder if friends are dumb when they leave open spaces. And we don't want friends to wonder about that, so let's make sure that we do our best job coloring on the inside to make sure nobody thinks that we're not done yet. And that's already starting to look pretty cool. I got myself a really big space right in here, and I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to use two colors here. I'm going to use a green, and let's use a pink. And I'm going to make myself a pattern. Do you know what a pattern is? A pattern can be a few different things, but this pattern is going to be a stripe pattern. It's going to be an AB pattern, A, B, A. B. Can you guess what the A and B are going to be? That's right. It's going to be green, then pink, then green, then what? Pink. That's right. And that makes this just a little bit more interesting, because not only do I have my colors filling in these spaces, but I also have some cool patterns going on. So what's happening right here is I stopped right here where this open space is, where this next 
couple of letters touched each other, but I'm not done with this. I'm actually going to continue my pattern up. You can make a whole different one if you wanted to, but I'm going to continue this one up. I just wanted to finish this little area to create a little map for myself of where my green and my pink should go. Can you find any more open spaces that I haven't filled? You're right, I still have this one right here. So I'm going to use, let's see here, there's so many choices. I don't have any blue yet, so I'm gonna use a blue. Just a little bit longer. And this will be all taken care of. And there we go. Now I've got myself a cool piece of abstract art that uses my name. Some other ways that you could make this really interesting if you wanted to challenge yourself is to try to use every letter of the alphabet. Now that's a whole lot of letters. So if that's too hard, but just using the letters in your first name is not that hard, then maybe you could use your first name and your last name. And if you want to challenge other than that, maybe you could use your first name, your middle name, and your last name. All right, boys and girls, this has been Mr. Hines. I can't wait to see what your abstract arts look like. Whenever you finish, see if you can get a grown-up to help you take a picture of it and upload that file below. Until the next time, I will see you guys. Have a great day.